has news from the Burnley Chess Club. Alan Muirhead discovers the advantages of visiting oh, I'm a USA. And in our oh. next spot today, David Neverwood talks to Dick Hope about prize winning vegetables. But first, news of a program on Thursday. Mrs. Davis. Come on. Thank you. Sit yourself down. Oh, thanks. This week, the oh, go, the one I saw Ali last night. She assures me she'll pay you back just as soon as she's got her social security. She says. I have every confidence that she will. And when she does, we'll leave it at that, shall we? I have given her a stiff talking to. I'm sure it won't happen again. I'm sure I don't know what Bobby will say. She's your daughter, Mrs Davis, not Mr Dawson's, and it was your money she took. All right, then we'll leave her. Now, about Arling, Mrs. Davis. Yeah? There's every chance that this boy she's living with will be sent to boarding school. See? Now, I've told you about it till I'm sick. You must just be attracted to that type, that's all I can think. Sure, I don't know where she gets it from. She told me she went to live with Roy Brown because she was kicked out of your house. I wouldn't say she was kicked out as so. such. Oh, what would you say? Well, she made no effort at all to get on with Bobby. I mean, he gave her things, made no difference. She won't wear him at any price, that was that. And as far as you're concerned, Bobby comes first, right? Well, we're going to get married, you see. Bobby has said we'll get married. <laughs> Do you want a fact? No, thank you. And what about Arlene? She's hardly more than a child, Mrs Davis. You do have a certain responsibility towards her, even if she's 18 now. Well, she'll be all right. She's always been able to fend for herself as that one. Perhaps because she's had to. I don't know what you mean. I think you do, Mrs Davis. Now, look, she's keeping bad company. And it's my experience of that sort of situation that it's only a matter of time before she's in trouble herself with the police. The fact that she helped herself to your purse when she's never done anything like that before points the way. Yeah, well, I just can't have her back with me. I just can't. My nerves won't stand it. I know they wouldn't. So, she'd just like to give me the money back. We'll call it quits, right? Goodbye, Mrs. Damon. I'll have to go back. 